Hey guys, this is Busy Blue and I am back for another update from Big Brother Season 19, Episode 8. So let's get into it. Um, I feel a little bit more confident and prepared today. Um, my MacBook is broke, so I'm, I'm actually filming off of another camera. Hopefully this works and looks better. You guys can hear me. Um, so we're going to try to um, work this out. Uh, so let's go through the episode that some of y'all who have been following me already know how I feel about um, <laughs> Josh. We're going to get right into that because that's where it starts. Again, this is Vodka um, and actually Perrier. Um, maybe I can start smiles with me with a little no. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, first of all, we're going to start this eviction off with what the hell did Julie Chan... Have, I wish I had something around me to showcase it. It was kind of like, so I used to work in this restaurant. Sorry, this is a dark hair living facility. And in the, in the, I used to work in the kitchen. And sometimes if you wanted to like be fancy, you would do like things with the knife. It wasn't origami because <laughs> we did not do that. But try to, you know, switch up and change up a little bit of the, the napkins. And it looked like somebody was trying to do origami at the bottom of the <laughs> Julie's dress. But didn't finish it. And then at the top was just like, okay, this is what we gonna, we just gonna wrap it up here. She just looked like <laughs> a big napkin. She looked like a table, um, you know, a cocktail hour. You know, just one of those things that you put over the, the little drape over the cocktail hour table. It was just it, Ju Julie, for your husband to be running the show up over there, you need to do better. Okay, I expect more from you, Julie. Um. So we start the show right after we start right back where we left off um, with Whining Big Weinster Josh um, talking to Cody. I had, you know, people in the comments from the last video talking about, you know, why doesn't he, uh, why don't you like um, him or he's getting a bad edit or this and that. Let me tell you, I, I, I don't know another way to say this. Um, and I, I was glad that, you know, on... Uh, Twitter, I'm seeing my favorites, you know, feeling the same way. I, I'm seeing Rachel, I'm seeing um, um, Janelle, I'm seeing, you know, um, some of my favorite players in the game understanding the fact that Josh hasn't done anything. Josh lost the veto competition, my God. Got someone else to rap a, put a, a veto around his neck. He got off the block, sat down. And then he started to jump, and I don't respect that. You know, sit down, okay? Be humble. I just didn't, I don't like it, I don't respect it, and I just don't like all of this mouth he has with nothing to back it up. As I was telling my friend as we was watching it, he has a blank resume, okay? But it's telling everybody why he's the most qualified for the job. He hasn't done anything. He want to hop up. You're going to be hopping out of the house. Yeah, but no thanks to you. You didn't do anything. The only thing that Josh was able to do this week specifically was be a pawn. And not because he wanted to be one, but because they tricked him into being one. Um, and then lose the competition and had another man wrap another um, a necklace around his neck for him to get off. Where is this big group and tough coming from? Yes. Maybe Cody and Jessica have treated him bad this week. But you're a liar if you're going to sit here and tell me that if someone promised you they'll be able to do something and they didn't, you wouldn't be mad. Not, more so, he lied about not doing it. He said that he was going to vote on Christmas. He didn't do it. And then when Cody peeped, like, yo, I know you didn't vote her out. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. I don't, now he's crying. He would. He didn't keep his word, and then he lied about not keeping his word. And I don't. I don't remember. And I need somebody to see if you if you can remind me when he actually said he didn't vote Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph. You know, he, at least he was like, "Look, I did vote. I voted. Like I voted for um her. We didn't have the numbers. I'm sorry." He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it, and that's why I don't respect him, and that's why I don't respect what he has to say at any time. Don't talk to me about gameplay or nothing because you have none. Next, what else made me upset is that he wants to play victim and rah, 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 rah. I hated how he was coming to Jessica. It's like, you know, and the same thing happened to me because I just got a little tiff. 
don't start it, but then I can't say anything. You know what I'm saying? He's coming up to Jessica. Oh, you wanna you da 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 da. So then Jessica's like, well, I didn't. Then he's like, well, I don't wanna argue. Then why are you talking to me? <laughs> How you you started you started all this stuff? I can't stand. Don't let me. I, I have to say you you say all this stuff. Then I'm trying to rebut. Now the conversation's over. No, no, nigga, I'm gonna say what I need to say. I just don't respect him. I don't respect him. I don't like him. If you wanna be the bigger person, then just walk away. Go that way and be the bigger person. But don't. Da -da 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 -da. I'm done. No, we gonna finish this. I just don't respect him. I don't change, I respect him. And I was happy when Cody said go. Um, when Jessica said go change your diaper because he's a baby. He's a baby. Um. Uh. What I did realize, I'm looking at my notes. Um, Cody's one of the realest in the house. Um, as much flack as I gave him, I had to start thinking about Cody's gameplay. I had to think about, um, and, you know, I hate to give this, you know, very um, chauvinistic, you know, alpha male, as my friends would call him, man, this benefit of the doubt, but he was HOH, you know, the person that he put up, you know, Mike, she left, you know, then, you know, he's trying to play a positive game, um, that person gets the pending uh, protection, um, then another, he just has so many things thrown at him on one HOH. He was put in the toughest position and he, it was like tossing people, you know, up, juggling them. And he tried to make a game move that should have been made. That should have been made. If we weren't carrying Paul to the end, I mean, I, Cody should have gotten Paul out. Um, so I, I just really think I think he's one of the realest, you know, guys in the game. I think he was able to when um uh what happened was they it was Dominique's birthday. Um and uh Pixie uh Twink Tinkerbell she made a cake for Dominique. They all saying happy birthday and you know, I didn't feel bad for Jessica this time. For some reason Janelle did and I really didn't understand it. She's a have not. Like, she's a have not. She's like, I just don't get it. It's like all of your basic things are being stripped from you. Yeah, bitch, you're a have not. You know? <laughs> that's what it is. That's what the privileges are. You don't get these things. That's what, that's the purpose of it. And it's only for a week. And that's it. I feel like because she's at the end of the, um, the, on her last leg right now, she's feeling hopeless. This is what's, what it's looking like for her. But I didn't feel bad for her crying but Cody comes in and he's like yo don't worry we're gonna make it feel better and I love the fact that him as you know someone who cares for her is like look I know I'm gonna be gone but the least I can do is make sure that be just because she aligned herself with me her game doesn't have to be over and he's about to go in overtime now she needs to be doing it herself oh, well never mind don't, that, that's not true because we're gonna get to why she should actually be shutting up and let Cody do it for her um um, but I, I thought it was really um, upstanding of him to say, you know what, because my game's over, I don't want hers to be as well. So I'm going to try to figure out what I can do to, you know, keep her in here and help her stay. Um, what's next? Uh, Cody going one step Jessica. So he goes to talk about the two people who t was able to put Christmas up. Um, surprisingly, that was Wreck-It Ralph and Dominique. And it was like, look, I, this wasn't by myself. These are the people who knew. They are the people who came to me and told me to put you up. And Christmas was like, I don't know why you're telling me this. Girl, you know why. Um, speaking of Christmas, uh, she has a semi-emotional um, moment where she's telling everybody whether or not she's going to stay in the house because she has to get major surgery. And she decides she's going to put herself through the pain. Um, may not be able to win or play in the competition, but she's going to fight it out. And Cody got up and left. And I, I was with him. Look, girl, the, what? And you stay, you stay. Moving on. Because we all are staying. Okay? We done had to be, we had to listen to Wreck It Ralph. I mean, Wreck It, no, I'm sorry, not Wreck It Ralph. Josh sit here and whine every day about what he is or isn't doing. Our eardrums are being bust. But what Paul is just trying to whisper to someone, my God, I, we all are enduring. Okay, and if she wants to put herself through that during her recovery, okay, then that's what it is. I don't understand why we got to sit here and cry and whine and see you do this whole emotional scene about you deciding to stay. Okay, you stay, you stay. Y'all want to go to the, to the pool? Um, so I was with Cody. I just, I just, I, I what are we doing all this for? 
the reason why I said previously Jessica should not be doing her own um, gameplay at this point is because she attempted to apologize to Christmas, understanding that she was going to stay. She's understanding, like, look, I, I want to make things right. And basically, her apology was, you know, you know, I'm sorry that things didn't work out with, you know, you being a bitch. Um, but, you know, I'm awesome, and I know that must be difficult for you, so let's be friends. <laughs> it's just like... Jessica, what? And then she kept trying to do this. I'm not trying to be competitive with you. I'm not trying to. That's not working. You know, it's like people throw throw the rocket, hide their hands, hide their hands. That's what she was doing, masking it in apologies. Like, I'm sorry you're a bitch. Um, yeah. So then when she, at Christmas is trying to explain her side. Oh, why are you getting hostile? Oh, no, I'm not trying to. Oh, why did you? Girl. <laughs> Jessica, shut up, okay, and sit down. I'm feeling for Jessica, um, but I'm not here for her. Um, I feel for her, but I'm not here for her. Um, we're going to see where her games goes. I'm actually interested because I feel like we're about to get a little bit of a shift. And I'm going to go into why. So, like I talked about previously, Cody's going around now exposing the game. Like, look, wreck it Ralph, um, who is Mark, um, is going around... Um, oh, Mark or Matt, I can't remember. I just call him Ricky Ralph. Y'all know him when y'all see him. <laughs> um, but Ricky Ralph and Dominique were the ones who talked to me about it. Now, I'll talk to you guys in my Before the Slice and Dice. If you haven't um, checked it out, make sure you check out my Before the Slice and Dice where I talk to you about what's happening in the house from the information that I've learned from the live feeds, the people who watch the live feeds. Um, but in my Slice and Dice, I, Dominique talked about interviewing people, and I was a little... Curious and worried about why she would be doing that. Who told her it would be a smart idea? Well, I was right Dominique um, has her own talk show where she interviews different guests and this time Someone told her it would be a smart idea to interview the nominees for eviction Why? It's like and I don't I hate to make this about race but what the black people doing this year on this show? You got Ramsey's and he don't know whether the game is coming or going. And now Dominique. So in the talk show, everything seems to be going well. You have Mafia dude as the host looking a little dapper. Um, and then you have everyone else watching. Um, everyone, you know, uh, we learn things about Ramsey's. We learn things about Alex. And now it's Cody's turn. I will say this. This was the most personality, personality that Cody showed. I think that once he realized I'm about to be out of here, guard, his guard went down. So he gets there. He's talking about who he would have gotten out. Da, 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 da. She, Dominique says, you know, it. Uh, w w when Paul came in the house, it seemed that, you know, two natural groups were forming. Um, and Paul starting to, you know, look a little crazy. In his confessional, he's feeling like a little weird, this and that. Um, so clearly, a hit dog has hollered. Um, he's feeling something about that. His question. Josh tries to ask a question in the middle of it, um, and I don't even remember what the question was was because why are you here? Why are you even here? I'm just gonna start calling Josh. He who shall not be named because he shouldn't be in the house. Okay, Lord Baltimore tease. Okay, he who shall not be named decided to ask a question, and Cody said exactly what I said. What I think. Josh, you don't exist in my book. I won't be taking any more questions from Josh. He Donald Trump them. Uh, no more CNN, please. <laughs> I won't be taking any more questions from Josh. Um, and they respected that, and he's out. Um, so then Dominique talks about this, you know, two, this alliance that has been forming and two natural um, groups that have been forming. And... Cody says, well, you know, with all the decisions that I made last week and what was going on, one of two people always, one or two people always knew what was happening. Let me tell you, baby, okay? When I said, hey, dog, holler that day, wreck it Ralph got up and said, well, what, what, what do you mean? Well, what are you talking about? Well, what do you, what do you say? Well, what are you saying right here? If he would have just let that go, 
And truly, I think nobody would have noticed or cared or thought about anything because that's really just all he said. Like, well, this whole time, one or two, one or two people always knew what was happening. That could have been Jessica. You know what I'm saying? It could have been Jessica, Chris, whoever. Rick and Ralph was. <laughs> no, no. Well, what do you mean? What are you trying to say? Uh, who who does? What do you do? You see, you're really like. He just got so agitated that he made himself look like a target, which I don't understand because after the TV show's over, the two dogs, hit dogs, went into a room by themselves and it just lost and confused. This is why it's like, yo, Paul was better last year because this year his, his mind is clouded with power. Um, you know, Rick and Ralph comes up and he's mad. Um, Marky comes up and he's mad. I can't believe you. I hate that call. And I had no idea. And he, but he did. And um, Paul's like, no, I know. I know. I'm just concerned about Dominique because she's talking about teams forming and what does she mean and that. Listen, I think that there was a lot of ambiguity in what Dominique said and what uh, Cody said to the fact that, or to the point that I, if they never said anything, I think that those statements could have just been whatever. But because they're putting power to it, that's where it's starting to shift. Unless there's something that we're not, I'm not seeing from the live feeds. I think that they took, you know, um, statements, blanket statements, and and really attached themselves to them. Okay, it's like all these rappers getting attached to the Jay Z 444 album, 444 album. So um, we get down to the eviction. Christmas had the surgery that I talked to you guys about on um, Wednesday yesterday. So she had to vote from the hospital. Uh, she must have been still doped up on drugs because she voted for Ramsey's to be evicted. Uh, so did uh, Alex. I mean, sorry. So did Jessica and so did Mafia Dude. And then they went to commercial. So I was, I was thinking, maybe did something happen right before the live? What are we missing? What are we not seeing? Um, but then the votes kind of trickled out as normal. Um... Cody was gone. I still, I'm the type of person who, I don't know if I'm going to come back in this house. And if I'm hurt, I'm hurt. I don't give, I'm not one of those people who, especially if I'm big mad, because I, I am a person who, if it's really irrelevant, um, and I don't have any stake in it, I will let it go. Like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I mean, you could tell that I'm upset, but I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. Ain't no use in arguing this, there's no use of doing it. And it's just how I feel, like, let's just move, let, let me just move on. I'm going to keep you at bay for right now, and then I'm going to come back. But right now, just say, what's, it's whatever. And I feel like, Cody, look, y'all just voted me out the house. It's only one person I care about. I'm about to be gone, and I don't know if I'm coming back. Yo, okay, well, let me pick her up. Kisses, da-da-da, deuces. Oh, he didn't even shake anyone's hand. Da, da, da. With the way y'all treated him, the way y'all allowed this no nonsense, he who shall not be named, cry baby giant. It's just like, <laughs> honey, I blew up the kid. Like, it's just this big baby to attack me and go up and down here. You got me hopping up and down this motherfucking house on, on lily pads and frog suits. And but now you want me to sit here and it's a get, get, da, 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 da. I think you respect it, Paul. Um, but I don't. I, we don't need to say goodbye to everybody. So he took off that frog too. He picked up Jessica. Um, and they walked out. Oh well, he walked out. She stayed in the house. She ain't stupid. <laughs> so now to play the video competition during his questioning. Um, I saw a little bit more. I'm really starting to like Cody. Um, I was talking to my friends and they talked about, you know, saying something about Cody being a, or telling his son or a nephew or whoever. I wasn't <clears throat> that into what he was saying, but saying don't be a beta a male. Apparently that's, um, a very white male privilege, um, chauvinistic, misogynist, uh, way of saying like, you know, don't be gay or be bottom barrel or, you know, bottom tier, you know, be that top. Male because that's what you were supposed to be, that's what you were born to be. Um, watching Big Brother all these years. <laughs> we have a house, so 
I just I wasn't that affected by it because sometimes I try to take people's personality out of um, the game and then I watch their gameplay. Um, if that makes sense, it's like Shelly when she decided she wanted to. I had to get I had to vote them out because I had to do it for my kid. And here you have um, little girl. I can't remember her name, but she's yeah. I gave a daughter a phone call to to her daughter when I wanted to speak for my family. This is a game. You know what I'm saying? People are going to sometimes do things outside of their character that they don't want to or whatever in order to advance themselves. Um, and in my opinion, Cody came to play. You know, and uh, he may be a chauvinist. You know, and I, 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 it sucks to see those sides of people. Like we had to see the racist, uh, the racist sides of Aaron. Um, you know, but uh, I mean, she was from Texas, and that's what y'all do in Texas. That's what she said. You know, I don't make the news. I just report it. Um, so, um, but I guess she was a bad example because her gameplay was horrible too. Like, it was like Evil Dick. Such a nasty man. Such a horrible man. Um, um, but his gameplay was top notch. He was nasty. He was loud. He was rude. He was everything that you just don't, he's not invited to anybody's party, party, barbecue, or anything. But his game was amazing. His gameplay was amazing. Um, and that's kind of how I look at Cody. He ain't not the best person. He probably calls me names, you know, behind my back. Um, but in this, I, I think that he came here to play the game. While, well, as he said, like, everybody's in awe of Paul. And it's like, oh, tell another one, tell another one. He tells the story, tell another one, tell another one. I think that they're going to let Paul coast through. And his social game is so, so great that nobody's looking at him as a threat now because they're all just watching him. It will, it's going to be a really good day when someone's like, you know what, Paul's got to go. And I'm interested to see who that's going to be. Uh, that was pretty much the episode. They're not playing the head of household competition. It is going on live. Um, I will let you know who won the head of household competition, who is nominated for eviction um, on Sunday. Um, and then check in on my Tuesdays to see before the slice of dice where I can give you all the information about what's going on behind the scenes. Um, shout out to everybody who tweeted with me today. Who was rocking with me today on Twitter? I had um, uh, tons of replies and have fun chatting with you guys as well. Make sure you follow me on all social media: Busy Blue, B U S Y B L U, no E. Um, and make sure that you like, comment, and share. I'm, I love to read uh, other people's comments, seeing what they say, because you know, Big Brother fans, we really get down deep into <laughs> the nitty gritty of the show. Sometimes we're bringing us from, from past years. Um, and bring it up to this year. So, you know, write as much as possible, like it, and share it as much as possible. Uh, shout outs to Jokers um, and uh, uh, Big Brother fans uh, on Twitter. Uh, thank you guys for rocking with me, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.